Welcome to Medicine Monday! For those of you who are new to my channel, please like, comment, share, subscribe, put on those notifications, all that great stuff. You got so it. I briefly want to give some advice because people actually have asked me, should I do a master's program in biomedical science before med school or should I do a post back program? And both programs are so great and they will help you stand out as an applicant, but it really depends on what you need specifically for your application. post back programs, post bachelor programs are programs that are usually for people who didn't really take all the prerequisites for med school and so they're still missing a bio course, they're still making missing or go or maybe they didn't have the best grades where they did they dropped the pre-med course and they continued with a different major but then they realized wait i want to be a doctor i actually have to take these courses so i would advise you if you do want to do a post back it's because you're missing classes that you need to take that are requirements for the application for med school right a master's program though is i per i prefer the master program because i already took all the classes that i needed for my prerequisites for the application a master's program depending on the school is usually you're taking medical school courses right you're taking similar courses as the med students so it gives you an insight on what to expect from medical school so it's on a graduate level you're not repeating courses that you would need like physics lab or orgo lab there's nothing like that you're more talking about cell biology genetics things that you might have taken when you were an undergrad but on an extreme level because you're learning more of the medical aspect right you're relating it to diseases that doctors see constantly with their patients so with the master's program it allows medical schools to see that you're capable of you know succeeding in their medical school because you succeeded in the master's program because you're taking similar courses that they would you know offer you guys as a med student so the difference is post backs are really for people who need to increase their undergrad gpa right or who haven't completed certain requirements that they need a master's program let's say you have a good enough gpa or your gpa is not the best but you want to show the admissions that you can handle the course load and that you're able to you know excel i would do a master's program if you already did all the requirements that you need for the application do a master's program if you feel like you want to you know step up your credentials because a master's allows you to just really understand how to be a med student i literally i study like no tomorrow my studying skills are on top okay let me tell you i i excelled by the grace of god in my master's program at tufts university school of medicine i did a master's in biomedical science and i actually was awarded the MBS student leadership award out of my entire class let me show you your girl was nominated out of her whole entire class for basically representing excellence among the class and showing what a true MBS student means and MBS just stands for master's in biomedical science honestly by the grace of God I got this award and it was strictly from studying all the time and being able to you know do well in class remain connected with my professors you know gotten involved in the community but also be a leader I was fortunately nominated by my class to be the treasurer and the secretary where you know we formed a lot of great events to be involved in the community as well as involved with one another you know a lot of the students saw something in me and they nominated me for this incredible accolade so it's such a great feeling to know that people see you know the, your hard work and you get rewarded for it and so the master's program for me just really allowed me to know how to study in a, a graduate setting right it gave me access to a lot of resources it gave me the knowledge of a medical school course load so now i know what to expect when i go to speak during university so I just feel like a master's program really helps you remain confident in yourself, right? It teaches you the skills that you need so you can be prepared more for med school. And the post back program allows you to basically help with that undergrad GPA. Both programs would be great. Obviously you wanna study for your MCAT, you know, that's essential. The MCAT is such an essential tool, let me tell you guys. You'll find out about my MCAT story when I do Untouched Potential. You'll find out about it. But I just hope that 
you guys if you do need to do those programs before you go to med school just really realize what does your application need right sit back and realize okay do i need to increase my undergrad gpa or do i need to show the admissions committee that i can handle a graduate course load right and sometimes you don't even need to get your master's and you don't even need to do a post back sometimes you have that great gpa you have that great mcat score and all you need is you know volunteering hours you need community service research experience and you're all set i do advise taking a gap year i know like my haitian parents were like you got to go straight into med school that didn't happen and i'm still going to med school right and i think the gap year was so essential because yes i was in school and got my master's but the second half of my gap year i was working i became a medical assistant and i got so many clinical experience i was able to learn more interpersonal skills that i would have never been able to learn i interact with patients on a different level and by the grace of god i was able to understand what it means to be really the on the front lines right when patients come in the first person they see is a medical assistant and so i that, that gave me such a great opportunity to really understand what it means to be a patient and also learn from the doctor, Dr. Ethan Bach, who I respect so much and I admire her work ethic. So I was able to learn from both ends, right? And so definitely have clinical experience. Like I said in my last video, medical scribe, medical assistant, shadowing, whatever it is, but understand that you want to be the best applicant when it comes to med school, right? You want to have everything to the T, but also understand if there is a blemish it's okay your story is organic and it's yours you just have to shine in other areas so that they can see that you are worth their time because you are all right so i hope you guys enjoy this medicine monday video i was able to give you some tips on post back or master's program i hope you guys were able to you know learn a little bit and, you know just do your research also reach out to me i can talk about more about my tufts experience i loved it and now i'm about to join another great medical school and and go to the Caribbean. Obviously, Maybe because of coronavirus, the first semester is online. But I plan on moving to Grenada in January, and I am so excited for that. All right, guys, I'll be back with another Medicine Monday video.